What's up guys, this is 1941 proof Jefferson Nickel and PR68 grade, very rare wartime proof coin in this condition. Lightly and evenly toned in pewter grey iridescence, under direct lighting, the surfaces reveal vivid multicolored undertones of gold and blues. Universally reflective in finish, both sides exhibit full striking detail and pristine looking features. I appeal is outstanding, sold for $4,800 at Stax Powers. Here is 1970s large date Lincoln Sand with double diverse, extremely rare coin with two popular features in one, graded in mean state 65 red by PCGS. Road doubling on Liberty and the motto should make this extremely rare variety highly desirable but it remains terribly underrated. So if you have 1970s, pay close attention to averse lettering and learn how to tell difference between mechanical doubling and double die. This superb gem ended up selling for $9,987.50 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1977D Ike Dollar struck on 40% silver planchet. Typical clad Ike Dollar would weigh approximately 22.7 grams. In his 1988 encyclopedia, Breen writes the very rare 1977D silver clad Ikes were struck on blanks intended for S mint bicentennials but erroneously sent to Denver. Only about 15 survivors are traced. Sold on January 12, 2023 for $26,400 at Heritage Auctions. This is Error Penny, 1964 Lincoln Sand struck on Roosevelt time planchet. Likely cleaned coin with a verse scratched. NGC assigned uncirculated details. Due to size difference, color on the right side is totally absent. All letterings and dates are readable, but letters of motto L of Liberty and the digit 4 of the date are distorted. Sold on January 23, 2023 for $1,800 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1932D Washington Quarter in Mint State 66. First year low mintage key date, collecting quarters was not a popular pastime in 1932. The 1932D Washington Quarters were released into circulation on August 1st and majority of the coins circulated heavily until the 1950s. Numismatic demand for the coin finally developed after World War II and the most survivors were culled from circulation by 1960. Today the 1932D is scarce but not really rare in lower mean state grades, but the issue is a prime condition rarity of the series in gem or better condition. This one was sold in 2018 for $74,400 at Heritage Auctions.